up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So I actually wasn't gonna be uploading here for a few days. Uh, for those of you that follow me on Twitter would know, I tweeted this out. Um, two days ago, I actually had one of my wisdom teeth pulled. Uh, the tooth broke and I had to get it pulled and it was not fun at all. And um, I wasn't gonna upload here for a few days, but I'm feeling pretty okay today. So I figured I would cover uh, this touring update, which is 1.1.0. As you guys can see here now this is a pretty cool update and i'll go into some more details as of why so first off i mean it looks cool we got uh some custom theming going on in taurine custom colors you can choose custom backgrounds uh, so that's pretty awesome but some of the new features in this version i like to think were added <laughs> because of me unfortunately so uh, if you guys didn't know um i do beta test taurine um and it's pretty cool I, you know I've, I've had a lot of fun i've been testing it uh for a few months now and i usually don't like to talk about it too much because i don't think it's anything to really brag or boast about um but i was testing out 1.0.7 and uh, i was using the new recovery screen i was i was manually triggering it to test it out and for those of you that know what the startup repair screen is um i would recommend to not manually trigger that just to play around with it there's really no need to do that let the recovery screen show up on your device if it ever needs to so if it, it ever during the jailbreak process you know if it kicks you to that startup repair that's when you want to use it don't manually trigger your device to test it out because if you do something like this could happen to you which happened to me so so basically i was testing out 1.0.7 um, I manually triggered the startup repair screen the first time it went great. It worked just as normal I navigated through the menu and you know was checking out all the options And then I did select normal startup and my iPhone started up just as normal And then I decided to test it a second time and on the second time I decided to let it auto time out to go into safe mode um, so basically the startup repair will auto safe mode if you don't put any inputs in. So if you don't tell it to do anything, it will automatically put you into safe mode. So I let it do that. And basically at that point, when it went to go into safe mode, it went into a boot loop. Now, right then and there, the boot loop is not permanent. Um, the, the blue screen of death will show up again, allowing you to get to or use the startup repair. Um, but unfortunately, it, it took about five or ten minutes, and I still didn't get the uh, the BSOD. And uh, I had some personal stuff going on. It was, you know, it was later at night, and I, I had to attend to these personal things. And I just left my 10s Max on my desk, boot looping, hoping that the screen would show up, and it didn't. So I had to leave for a little while. And by the time I got back, my battery was dead on that iPhone. And basically, if that happens. You're like me, you lose your jailbreak. So yes, I lost my jailbreak on the 10s Max here. So uh, this iPhone, the only way to get this iPhone working again is to fully restore it with, with a Finder and update it to 14.7.1. So I lost my 14.3 jailbreak, but like I said, I like to think that the reason I lost it was for, for good reason because we have some new features now in Taurine that will help prevent that from happening like it happened to me so no hard feelings um like i said I, I always have this iphone 10 and this is kind of my my main jailbreak iphone that i can really mess with crazy stuff on it i do have blobs saved so i can jump around from version to version if i want to with future restore so this really is my main jailbreak iphone um the the 10s max was my main or only 14.3 and below jailbroken iphone so I can still cover this kind of stuff. It's just not jailbroken on 14.3. It's jailbroken on 14.7.1. So that is the long story. And here are the new features of Taurine 1.1.0. So adds a patch to fix the boot loop issue in stock iOS, the VAR corruption that previously would require users to wait for the next BSOD to use startup repair also adds a battery level indicator to recovery UI, um, increases AMFI timeout so there's less BSODs on older slash slower devices, adds support for custom in-app themes. So that is the update. It's a pretty big update. 
I would highly recommend you guys to update to this version. Um, and like I said, we have we have some new cool stuff. So if we go into themes here, you guys would remember all of these normal themes. So you got like default, sugar free, mango crazy. But if you scroll down, as you can see, you can choose custom background. You can choose your custom image or you can use a custom color as well. So if you want custom colors like that, you can do it as well. So as far as the themes go here, we'll switch uh, the custom image. I'll choose a different wallpaper to use. And I, I think this is really cool. Let's use, I don't know, let's use this one. And then we need to choose it. So we go back to themes and then set, oops, uh, do choose background and there you go. So there is a custom background with Taurine. I think that's really freaking cool. I've been waiting for a jailbreak to do this for, for so long. Um, so this is this is awesome to me. I love being able to theme or at least change the background of the jailbreak. And then also you do have custom color. So you can you can choose the colors. You can have a blur enabled or no blur enabled. Uh, so this is kind of just like the normal stock kind of touring look, but you choose whichever colors you want. So I don't know, let's do like maybe like a lime green and then a purple and a teal color. So you can see what that looks like if we change, I don't know, the teal to like a yellow color. And let's change the purple, if I can choose it, to like a orange, maybe like a Rastafari. So as you can see, you can really get crazy with the customization with Taurine now um, by using, you know, an image or custom colors. Um, and then you have all of these other new additions here. So highly recommended to update to this version of Taurine 1.1.0. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my Taurine 1.0.7 story. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.